Hey guys, Jack here with Epic Hot Tubs of Raleigh. People always ask us, especially new hot tub owners, how hard is it to balance water? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what it entails of checking your water and how hard it is to balance water for hot tubs. Once a week at least, you're going to come out here, remove the cover, and you're going to dip a test strip that you get with your starter kit from us. You can see here that there's not really a lot of color on those now, but as we dip it, one, two, three, give it one shake, and then we line it up here on the bottle. So we can see that this one, there's an okay range on these test strips. So you want to just make sure that everything is right in line. So this one's a little bit high on chlorine, but that's not too bad. Alkalinity is good, pH is good, and hardness is good. This particular time, we don't have to do anything. But if it was a little low on chlorine, which it usually will be once a week because it dissipates out over time on its own, you'll throw in, in this model, you'll throw in a small cap full of chlorine, run the jets for 10 or 15 minutes, and you're done. That's it. That's all you have to do on a hot tub once a week to balance the chemicals. The alkalinity, pH, chlorine, those are your main three. So when, you know, sometimes you see different versions of spas, saltwater spas, for example, we get that a lot. Saltwater spas take salt that's in your water and generate their own chlorine for you. Well, you see how hard it is to balance the water, to dip a test strip. It's one cap full a week of chlorine that you're putting in the spa. Water's a little softer, but we also sell borate. If anybody's old enough to remember Calgon, take me away. Calgon is borate. Throw a little borate in your spa and it softens the water so it's smoother on your skin. So it's not a hard process to balance water and it's something we can also help you with at any time here at Epic Hot Tubs. But check us out, epichottubs.com.